Hey guys, so today I've got something exciting to show you. I bought bits for a new computer. They're all here. Um, I bought the GeForce GTX 660 graphics card. I bought uh, some Corsair Vengeance 1600 RAM, 8 gigs of that, two 4 gig sticks, because the motherboard down here, the P8Z77VLX2, is a dual channel memory board, so it will read from those things at the same time, or something like that. Um, and I also got the Core i5 3570K, which is an unlocked chip. Um, so that's the processor. It means that I can overclock it in the future if I want to. Hopefully this setup will last me a good number of years. I'm hoping about four. That's how long my old computer lasted me, so I'd like to make this one last as long. So I can overclock it to, say, four 0.2 gigahertz and stock cooler, possibly, I'm not sure. If not, I'll just buy a new cooler, that's not a problem. And I also got a new DVD writer because mine broke. And the case it's going into is a beige, beige case, beige, beige case. So if I get a really old case, it looks like something Windows 95 would run on, it looks really old. Um, but it's got some bezels on this DVD writer and it's got some, uh, some different colors. So hopefully one of them will match. Uh, I'm going to show you me building it. I'm not going to unbox these um, in front of you because I think plenty of people have done this before and none of these are very high-end components really so I'm not going to get a lot of accessories with them um, especially the motherboard which is it's kind of a low-end entry one but it uh, does PCI Express 3, USB 3 and uh, it's got some PCI slots on there as well which I really wanted. I found some boards that didn't have those my Wi-Fi card is PCI, and I've got a like a TV tuner card that I don't really use, but I, found, I fancy being able to reuse it if I wanted to. So I'll get on with the build. Right, so I've got the board out. I've got a big-ish space to use. Um, and the first thing I've got to do is I've got to install the processor and the heatsink. Heatsink? cooler, whatever they're called. So here we go. Right. Uh, should probably read these. Oh, there it is. Let's just do the grounding myself thing first. I've got a radiator next to me, which I think is grounded. I'm going to assume it is. So if I just touch an exposed metal bit of that, it should be fine. So we open this up, I think. All right, and then do some lining up. Like that. And then Okay, here we go. I've been told this will make a nasty noise as I do it, and I shouldn't be worried about it. That's it. Okay. Um, right, that was frightening. Okay, next the cooler, I guess. Uh, let's see if you can see this. Let's just change the manual focus. So here's the cooler. As you can see, it's already got thermal paste applied. So I don't need to do anything with that. So I can just plonk it right on. Well, I say plonk it right on. I think that's what I'm going to do. I really should read the instructions. In fact, I'm going to read the instructions. Well, this is the terrifying bit. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I've got this right. Um, it appears to be on. Ah yeah, you can see here. These bits here have come through properly, so I know that it's attached properly, thankfully. I just need to make sure I plug in this fan, CPU fan to there, is that right? Shit. It's scaring me quite a lot. I think that's it. I think that's the processor installed. Right, okay. 
Now, I think I probably need to read the... In fact, do I need to read it? It doesn't actually say DIM1, a... Oh, I don't know. I don't know where to put the memory. That's the, the issue. We'll see though. Let's take that off. So it recommends that you put one in A2 and B2 if you've got two modules. So A2 is this one here and B2, so the two blue ones. I'm just going to ground myself again. Do you know what, I didn't even worry about grounding myself when I built my last computer 10 years ago. It just wasn't, it wasn't something I knew about. Right, so they only go one way around. So if I just sort of undo these bits. God, these things look amazing. I'm not actually getting this in way. Right. That's not locking. I don't know why. Oh shit, that's. Sorry for the swearing, everyone. Right, next one. I'm actually. I thought I was shaking a little bit then, but maybe I'm not. And the next one. Just to grab myself again. There's this way round. Open up these bad boys. Okay, that appears to be done. Now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the case over, which is just there. And uh, I'm going to pop the motherboard in. Now it's got a terrible PSU and some of you may tell me off for it. But I've had it for four years so it probably needs replacing. But I'm not going to do that just yet because I didn't want to spend the money. As you can see actually I'm, uh, I'm doing this on my uh, electronics workbench. Uh, so hopefully it's an appropriate environment. But I will, uh, I will put the board in there now. Right, as you can see, it's not one of these fancy modular power supplies. It's uh, some kind of octopus. I've got tentacles all over the place kind of power supplies. Um, so I've stuffed it all in this little cavity here for a minute while I figure out how I'm going to get the board in. Um, this is a bit terrifying because I actually... My case doesn't really have motherboard standoffs, I don't think. Well, I don't think it does anyway. Um, this is where you'll realise that I'm a complete noob at this and what I've got in my pocket is a bunch of screws that I've taken out from, from the other motherboard. So I'm assuming those ones will work just fine and uh, hopefully they will. I'm just going to ground myself again uh, and figure out which way this thing goes in. Tell you what, that will do. I'm not going to spend another minute messing around with it because I've been, I'm impatient. Right now, which screws do I think they are? I think it's these little ones here. Now, I'm going to ground myself again before I start doing this. screws. Um, I'm just going to go and look for some more. <laughs> well, it seems my old motherboard only had what, five screws and this one needs six. Um, so it's only getting six, which is fine, I think, possibly. I'm going to just pop it in the corner here. Now, you've got to bear in mind this is quite an old motherboard. Sorry, not an old motherboard, an old case. 
so it's not going to have loads of new features or anything. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you can see, but there are zero standoff things here, so I assume it doesn't need them, but I'll start plugging in some of these little cables, like the, I mean look at this freaking thing, look, look when I get all these bits out, it's insane, look at all that. Uh, so one of these is, this one's the motherboard connector, so we'll put that one on straight away. Alright, that's in. And then if I just untangle some of this, that's a mess. I'm sure this will be very familiar to some of you. I'm not even sure what's going on here. How are all these connected? Right, I should have done this before I put everything in. Definitely. My word, I think we're close to being ready to put some other stuff in there. Well, the hard drive needs to go in. I've put the CD-ROM drive in already, and that has a SATA connector. I've only got two SATA power things. Okay, that's probably fine, I think. That's a mess. It's a real mess. Uh, so that's... Oh, that word. Okay. Alright, all of that can just go get in there. You don't need to be seen. There we go. Right, now I'm going to get the hard... Oh no, I'm going to connect these things up, I think. So these are the connections for the front of the case. So I've got these, I don't know what that is, USB 1, USB 2, and ground, and the other one's ground as well I assume. Yeah, so I don't know where they go. Shit. Um, front panel speaker, that one can't be difficult, there it is. assumption is it doesn't really matter which way around it goes but then I don't know if I've got oh, I don't really know what I'm doing here <laughs> right so we've got the graphics card just here it's the uh, the gigabyte something something it's GTX 660 wind force 2 it's got these nice fans here it's quite a lot of um, Copper tubing and some kind of heatsink thing going on, and some protectors. And it's also got four display things, so that's quite interesting. Right, I don't, do I need to take any of these things off? I probably need to take this one off. God, okay. I'm going to ground myself again because I'm frightened. Right, I'm just going to put it in. Right, here we go. Uh, I might put this so you can see it actually. Right, it's going in just here, I think. I think that's a BCI Express slot, I think. Anyway, we're gonna bung it in. Right, so here it is, all finished in its, uh, in its wonderful beige case. It's got a little, it's got some sort of vents on the side there so it's not totally Windows 95-esque and uh, as you can see I'm editing this video at the moment using this machine so it definitely works uh, let me get the side off so you can have a look so there we are it's uh, it's all finished there's sort of it's quite messy I haven't tied any of the cables back and I'm not going to because I don't really care there's enough airflow in that case so I'm perfectly happy. The graphics card sat there quite nicely, fits very, very easily. 
the case has loads of room. I had a lot of trouble with the power connect, not power connectors, sorry, the, the front case connectors for the switch and for the reset button. I don't even know if that works actually, I have no idea. The power, the, the light on the front to tell you whether the power's on doesn't work. Um, I'm not really that bothered about it though, I'm just going to leave it. I'm perfectly happy the way it's gone. So there we go, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Oh, here's the, the terrible power supply if anyone's interested. It's worked quite well though, to be honest, so I'm, I'm happy. I'd like to hear your comments, so feel free to leave some. Thanks.